What's going on, everybody? It's Revo now, back with another one. Today we have something really exciting to talk about, something that's been on everyone's mind for quite some time now. And today we're diving deep into the world of 5G. Yes, the next generation of mobile networks that promises lightning fast speeds and seamless connectivity. Specifically, we're talking about 5G here in the USA. It's been a hot topic with carriers boasting about their 5G coverage and the incredible benefits it brings. Now I know what you're thinking, 5G River, we've had 5G for years. But have we really? That's the big question we're going to tackle today. And on the surface, yeah, it seems like it. You see the advertisements, the billboards, and even the little 5G icon on your phone. It feels like we're living in the future, right? You look at your phone, you see that little 5G icon up top. Maybe it even pops up on your laptop every now and then. But is that really the full story? But here's the thing. What a lot of us are experiencing isn't really true 5G. It's more like a souped-up version of 4G LTE, and that's a big difference. It's like ordering a gourmet burger and getting a glorified veggie patty. Instead, you expect something amazing, but what you get is a bit of a letdown. It looks the same, might even have a fancy bun, but take a bite and you know something's off. The taste, the texture, it's just not what you were promised. We're going to break down why this is happening, what real 5G actually looks like, and how we can tell if we're actually getting what we're paying for. We'll dive into the technical aspects, the different types of 5G, and what you should be looking out for. So buckle up, because we're about to expose some hard truths about 5G in the USA. Let's go. This is going to be an eye-opener, and by the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your mobile network. Stay tuned, and let's get started. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. All right, let's get right into it. Today, we're diving deep into the world of 5G technology in the United States. It's a topic that's been generating a lot of buzz, and for good reason. We've all seen the commercials, the billboards, the hype. 5G is here. It's faster than ever. It's going to change the world. The promises are grand and... The expectations are sky high, and to some extent that's true, but there's a catch. The reality of 5G in the US is a bit more complicated than the marketing slogans suggest. You see, true 5G is about more than just speed. It's about a fundamental shift in the way our devices connect and communicate. It's about creating a seamless, interconnected world where everything from your smartphone to your refrigerator can communicate in real time. I think of it like this. Imagine you're sending a package across the country. 4G is like sending it through the regular postal service. It gets there, but it takes a minute. You might have to wait a few days and there's always the chance of delays. 5G, on the other hand, is like having a dedicated drone delivery system. It's faster, more efficient, and can handle a lot more packages at once. Imagine getting your package in a matter of hours instead of days. Now, here in the US, many carriers have been marketing their upgraded 4G networks as 5G. This has led to a lot of confusion among consumers. They're essentially slapping a new coat of paint on an old building and calling it a renovation. It looks new on the outside, but the underlying structure hasn't changed much. It's faster than regular 4G, sure, but it's not the revolutionary leap in technology that true 5G promises. The difference is like night and day. It's like they took that old postal service, gave the delivery trucks a new paint job, maybe added a spoiler and called it a day. It might look cooler, but it doesn't fundamentally change the way packages are delivered. But under the hood, it's still the same old system. The core technology hasn't been upgraded to the level that true 5G requires. So how can you tell if you're actually experiencing true 5G? It's a question many of us are asking. Well, the easiest way is to compare. Run speed tests on your device and see what kind of results you're getting. Take a look at the speeds you're getting in your area, then compare them to the speeds being reported in countries with fully deployed 5G networks like China with its Huawei technology. The difference can be quite stark you'll likely notice a pretty significant difference. In countries with true 5G, the speeds are often exponentially higher. 
We're talking about gigabit speeds, folks. Downloads that take seconds, not minutes. Imagine downloading a full-length HD movie in just a few seconds. Streaming 4K videos without a hint of buffering, lag-free gaming on the go. The possibilities are pretty mind-blowing. It's a game-changer for how we consume media and interact online. But here in the US, we're stuck in this weird in-between phase. We're not quite there yet, and it's causing a lot of frustration. We've got pockets of true 5G popping up here and there, but for the most part, we're still dealing with 3G, 4G, and this. Souped up 4G? They're calling 5G. It's a patchwork of different technologies, and that little 5G icon on your phone. It's not always a reliable indicator of the network you're actually connected to. Yeah, that's not always the most reliable indicator. Sometimes it means you're on a true 5G network, but other times it just means you're on an upgraded 4G network. Sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it's not. The only way to know for sure is to run those speed tests and see for yourself. It's the most reliable way to gauge the true performance of your network. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rivo, this is America, the land of innovation, the tech hub of the world. Why are we lagging behind in the 5G race? Why are we lagging behind? It's a valid question. And the answer is multifaceted well, there are a few reasons. One is the sheer size and complexity of our telecommunications infrastructure. The US is a vast country with a diverse range of urban and rural areas, each with its own unique challenges. Upgrading to a completely new network technology is a massive undertaking, kind of like trying to rewire an entire skyscraper while people are still working inside. It's a logistical nightmare. It takes time, it takes money, and it takes a lot of coordination. It's not something that can be done overnight. Another factor is the regulatory landscape. The US government plays a significant role in how quickly new technologies can be deployed. The US government has been slower to auction off the necessary spectrum for 5G deployment compared to other countries. This has created a bottleneck in the rollout process. Think of Spectrum as the highway system for wireless signals. The more lanes you have, the more data you can move at once. Without enough spectrum, the network gets congested, and right now our 5G highway is stuck in a bit of a traffic jam. The lack of available spectrum is slowing down the rollout of true 5G, but it's not all doom and gloom. There are reasons to be optimistic about the future of 5G in the US. The good news is that true 5G is coming to the US, it's just a matter of time. Carriers are investing heavily in building out their networks and we're starting to see some real progress. The infrastructure is being put in place and the future looks promising. It's just going to take a little bit longer than we might have hoped. Patience is key, but the wait will be worth it. In the meantime, don't be fooled by the marketing hype. Be a savvy consumer. Just because your phone says 5G doesn't mean you're getting the real deal. Do your research, run those speed tests, and manage your expectations. Knowledge is power. Do your research, run those speed tests, and manage your expectations. It's the best way to ensure you're getting the most out of your network. And hey, maybe use this as an opportunity to brush up on your Mandarin, because those folks over in China are already living in the future. The global landscape of technology is shifting, and it's fascinating to watch. So what do you guys think about the future of 5G technology? Are you surprised by the truth about 5G in the USA? It's a hot topic that's been stirring up a lot of conversations lately. Let me know in the comments down below. Your thoughts and opinions are really important to me. And while you're there, tell me what other tech myths, mysteries, or straight-up lies you want me to debunk next. There's so much misinformation out there, and I want to help clear things up. From smartphones to smart homes, electric cars to AI, the world of technology is vast and ever-evolving. I'm ready to dive deep and expose the truth. Whether it's about the latest gadgets or the most advanced AI systems, I'm here to provide you with the facts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next Tech Takedown. Your support helps me keep bringing you the truth. Thanks for watching Revenow signing off. Peace. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.